So if I was going to do, let's say, something really simple like a classic would be if I have a new customer or if I have someone that's going to opt in for a, um, for a lead magnet, um, regardless of the way that they come in, I would always put them on a short-term education. So let's just assume for a second that um, someone's completed some line, opt in online. So this is your kind of your standard ebook, whatever um, type thing. Um, and maybe we would also have like a maybe we met them at an event, so trade show inquiry. Um, we could build a whole bank of these. And right after those various web formed opt ins, we would deliver whatever it is we were going to deliver. So we're going to deliver the ebook, um, or we're going to say, nice to meet you. Um, you'll have to forgive my typing. Um, whatever we're going to do after that event happens. But once it's happened, we're going to put them into a really standard sequence. Um, and the reason I'm breaking this up is, well, hopefully you'll see in a second. Okay. So let's assume that we've got some, some leads and they've come in on a number of different channels and ultimately they enter what we're going to call um, the new customer education. You could start this right now. You could start this even if you're using MailChimp really super manually. I'm just going to clean this up for you and say on some level we need a campaign that is triggered by something and then runs for four weeks with some emails in it. So let's do it like this. Week one, week two, week three, week four. So all I'm going to do in this sort of thing is say, all right, I've got a new customer and I want to educate them about my business. Whether they buy or not, I'm going to give them some communication. So week one, straight away, I'm going to send them an email and I'm going to say, welcome to the family. Here's what you need to know. And in this email, I might put a whole bunch of stuff about how I share content on Facebook or my number to get in touch or if you want to, follow my um, cycling to follow me on Strava or whatever crazy thing you want to do. And then I just put a seven day timer in. So I'm going to say, send this email and wait seven days. And that's all I'm going to do. And then I go into week two. So I know, I'll just jump back for a sec. So I know week one's email has been sent. We've waited seven days from whenever this customer joined our business. And then same deal again. So I'm going to send another email. And this time I might say, hey, here's my like, best tip for anyone thinking about marketing automation. And then I'm going to wait another seven days. So really simply, I could build out these four weeks. And, and then I know as soon as I've written four emails, this thing's ready to go. I could publish this. I'm assuming you guys would already know what you'd say to a new customer. You'd have three things in your pocket. You find yourself repeating over and over to new customers. So it's really easy to pull that into a short-term education or a new customer education. That would be the first thing that I do. So keep it really, really simple and just do that. And then you know in the back of your mind, if you meet 20 people at a conference um, and then you weren't smart enough to clear your calendar for the day after the conference, so you could do all your follow-up because we put all this work into networking and then we never follow anyone up, um, you could just apply this new customer education tag to all those 20 people in your CRM, whatever it is, and kick off this sort of education piece. And that's how I'd start. 